All right, here we have a chicken about to be born. Coming right out there. We just made a, made a video putting it on the other channel of introducing the half day old to the day and a half old because he had dried up really fast. So we put him with the other one and he's already eating and learning to drink. But the first one born which is a day and a half old, was not too happy about the other one coming in. Felt his food was going to be invaded, I think. But they're learning. So if you see the one that was born last night, which was the one that was introduced, the shell's right there. And now we have this one being born. And the first two are well, they're kind of black with a little bit of brown. So we have laying hens that are black and white. So the daddy we know has to be one of the brown ones. So this one almost, you can almost see like it's black, like it's going to be the same as the other two. But I just made a video when we introduced the one that was born last night to the one that was born the day before. So I have that on one of my other channels. And this one here will be of this one being born. Now if you notice in my videos and everything, I already done where the ducks were born. And the ducks were hatching because we couldn't find no videos ducks being born. So I made some. That was rather interesting. But boy, you ought to see them now. They're almost just as grown as the mom and dad. So I'll go do a video showing you, because now they're all outside. They got their feathers. They're doing really good. So they're really big, too. They're using a lot of space. But of course, you know, chickens don't take that much space. Ducks need a lot because they are really big with their feathers and everything. So the other two I just introduced this morning, the one that was born last night to the one that was born the previous day. Uh, at first they was like, ooh, I'm getting away from him. But then as they done a little talking back and forth, he decided to move on in. And the other one slept in his feed because I put just a small little bowl with some crunched up feed for him. And he kind of slept in it. So I think he really wanted to possess the food. Didn't like someone else coming in, but he better get used to it because we're hatching a dozen of these. I need to replace my old laying hens with some new ones. So that's what's going on. So now we're waiting for this one to be born. And this will join tomorrow. The other one had dried up really fast because you got to leave them in here till they're really nicely dry. Oh, see, it seems like he's cracking down lower to make it bigger. the opening a little bit bigger. It's probably got to crack all the way around so you can just bust through. Say, I'm free! Let me free! Now we had some old incubators and stuff and they didn't do so good at hatching. These really do. Look, he's making that little hole there meet with the other one. Look at that. You can see. See that hole right there? He's making it meet with the other one so it'll be a bigger crack for him to bust through. is really cool but if you're looking to hatch some which you know everybody with the cost of eggs in the stores and everything you know don't take much space to raise you know half a dozen so it definitely be well worth it but this is the good incubator see it's kind of like a whole dome dome and this is the top so you know when you're ordering and it holds, I think it holds 10. Let's see how 
nice it is. And we have another one there too. And another one, a spare one there. Because when we done the ducks, we done a lot of them. Okay. Oh, look at that. He's getting there. Doing a good job. Got that down there pretty well, pretty good. Look at that. Cracking right in there. He's making that line meet with the other one that he already started. So he has a bigger piece that just pop right out of. Which is kind of cool. So, when he makes it out, he'll be joining only tomorrow. This other one that was born last night, which you can see his shell right there, he dried up really fast. He done good. And he's already eating, so he's doing great. Drinking is just a little bit harder for him. But... I introduced him, and the other one's right beside him, drinking, to show him, okay, this is how it's done. It's always good to have an older one, only a day older, show you the path, show you the way. Look at that. Give me one great big push, and you could probably get that pretty well open. See how there's just a little bit in between the top crack and the bottom? I got that. Get in there. Do you see him move? Look at that almost. You seen it separate? Did you hear him? Went tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet your butt right out. Got it, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Pretty good. Come on. Our viewers are waiting your arrival. You'll be a star the minute you come out. You think he'll be a star the minute he comes out? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Because he's going to be on video, right? Then he'll be on the web for everyone to see, so he'll be a star. Look at that. Did you hear him? He says, yeah. He went tweet. some on the other side too because he's all the way down to the bottom with that so he's got a good half a circle cut out
Well, no, not. He's got a little feet or something out. Down at the bottom. Did you see that? He's got a little something out. Wow, I even heard it crack. shows up on the camera yeah and that's what everybody's gonna see is what you see right there on the camera Time's gonna get the right push. See, look, there's something sticking out there. Just gotta finish this. Roll right out. Quite a bit at the bottom hanging out. Can't let yourself close up now. Did you see that at the bottom? Oh my goodness. And pop himself right out there, there. Come on. Almost there. One very good push is what you need. Did you hear him? If that little piece of the shell falls, because it's already all cracked all over the place, that'll definitely give him a big opening to come out. You a star.
It must hurt if he's putting a leg out there and then the shell closes up. Because the shell's pretty hard. I would think that would cut his little legs up. Or her little legs. Taking a break, I guess. Oh, oh, see that? Look at that. It's hard to break out of an egg. Egg's a pretty hard shell. He's trying, he's trying. I hope he makes it out before my battery dies on me. That would be a shame. Keep pushing and push and push. Come on. God, he's so close. Gotta readjust my hand here. It's quite a shake there. Well, we shook the whole egg that time.
You're all cheering him on just like I am. Come on, come on out. Another good big push. Go for it. We're waiting for you. Almost thought he was gonna that time, didn't you? When the crack gets wider, look at that, he's right there. Right up against it. Finish it off, finish it off, come on. Get himself caught between the, in the cracks. That must hurt. It's so fragile. You picked him up and it's like, oh my god, little skeleton bones you feel. A little bit of fuzz on top of it, that's it. Gotta be very delicate with them, they're so tiny. can't help them though. You have to let them do it all naturally themselves. But there's that other layer. When you crack an egg, you have that white layer. It doesn't quite have that one all the way apart on that top piece. I think if he had that, he'd be all set to come out. There he is, there he is, there he is. Hello, hello, come on, all the way. Yeah, he finally broke that little white piece. He's right there. Okay, the next, there he is, there he is. There he is, Oh. Oh God, I have the shell leaning against him like that, it must hurt. Get away from it all. Come on out, all the way. Okay, so. Yeah, he looks just like the other two. There you go. Oh my, wait a minute, turn yourself around. That's your legs. Your legs in your belly. Look, he's upside down. He's laying on his back. That's how he came out. He can come out with his beak. Look at that. Oh, ow, oh. Poor little thing. See his feet? Yeah. Yeah. He's on his back. You see his wings and his legs. Take a few deep breaths, relax, and then finish your way out there, buddy. Enough of that. There you go. Oh, you're born. Yay, a star is born. Isn't he something? Yeah. Look at that. Now he'll be in there for a little while so he can dry up. Rest. Oh, got out of that shell finally. Look at him. Okay, get on up. We want to see you get up there. Put his head way over there. There you go, there you go. Come on. Yeah. There you go. He's now born. Wow, look at these patches of... of uh, Kind of like yellow. Wow, he's different than the other ones. Look at the patches on him. I'm going to have to call them patches. Look at that. Isn't that unusual? I know, isn't he? Mm -hmm. We're going to have to call them patches, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because look, he's got these patches on him. 
different colors. Yeah, I know. he's got a bunch of little patches. Oh, that's part of the shell. He just dropped his patches. We can't call them patches. It's the shell that's still stuck on him. Oh, well, a star is born. He would look cute as patches, huh? It, it's stars? He's a star. So we name stars. Yeah, yeah, we can name him stars. You're right. He's just got to get rid of the rest of the shell that's yeah, on his shells. body. Yeah, I thought those were going to be patches. <laughs> then one fell off, and I go, oh, wait a minute here. He's playing a game with us. Oh, look at him, his little baby. That's so cute. There you go. Wait, what's the oh, name head, He got his head stuck inside of his egg, though. No, he put it back in. Put it back in just to lay there, take yeah. a break. It's because he has to back up. We gotta get them shells out of there, but I think you have to wait for them to dry up first before you can do that. I think he, he, I think we can call him Star. Egg. He's egg a keeper star. Egg keeper star. Egg keeper star. Ooh. I don't know how we're gonna be able to tell. Boy, look at that. He's pretty big. There you go. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Ain't that neat? Yes. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. The birth of a star. There you go. Egg keeper star. Yeah. Egg keeper star. Egg keeper star. Ooh. Oh no! Don't go back in your eggs. You already hatched out. Don't go back in there. <laughs> Back up. Turn yourself around. Oh my goodness, look. He's fighting to get back in his egg. He's so funny. Don't do that. Oh, he's just trying to go around. He wants more cuddly to be warmer. All right. Bye-bye now.